Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope y'all are having an awesome day. As you're hopping on, say hello. Today we're going to be working with this gorgeous napkin. Y'all, when I saw it at TJ Maxx, I just had to have it. It looks so pretty. It's kind of got that green, kind of green teal that we love. I just want to put this on everything. Y'all tell me what you've been doing today. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to try my luck at pinning a comment. And y'all, um, whenever you're working with napkins, get it down to the where it's one ply. Hey, Cindy. You can use, like, tape and pull it apart. Uh, you can use a wet finger. I'm trying to think of all the ways. Anyway, there's so many ways to do it. You can do it like this and then grab it and separate it. It's that last couple plies that's the hardest. Guys, if this is the first time you've been on here with me, my name's Debbie. Welcome. I love hopping on here and sharing ideas with y'all. And we are actually going to use, um, we're going to use the napkin. And then I got this pretty wreath at Dollar Tree Plus. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Um, and listen, y'all let me know about this. All of our Dollar Trees are Dollar Tree Plus. So it'll have like a $1.25 item. It'll have a $3 item and it'll have a $5 item. And which, y'all know how much I love lemons. So, got my lemon apron, my lemon earrings. I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay. We're going to put that, that down here until we get ready for it. Um, but anyway, let's see. Oh, there's my glue gun. Y'all be sure to remind me to turn my glue gun on later. And y'all let me know if this is your first time here. Let's see. You're getting rid of stuff. Out of the house. Awesome. Feels so good. And y'all, yesterday or whatever day it was, I um to I like showed y'all the purple shampoo. Well, I didn't get the I didn't get the L'Oreal. I got the other one. But look, it worked great. Now, one thing that I do, I always um and I think some of y'all didn't didn't know to use purple shampoo with white hair. But what I do is I like put a little bit of the purple shampoo and then I put a, some of my regular shampoo. And then I like shampoo it and let it sit there for a little bit. Have y'all ever tried that? I don't know if y'all were on here yesterday when we were talking about that. But anyway, it's pretty awesome. I thought, y'all, I thought I figured out this pen in the comment thing. I thought if I do it from a different phone. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is the, th that's the, that's the secret. Okay. And I'm also going to use this Hello cutout. I pinned all, everything that I'm using. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um, Get everything going. All right, so we're going to put some Mod Podge on here. And y'all know I like to use the Mod Podge method where I dry the Mod Podge. And y'all, this is the mat, but I've used either. I've used the mat. I've used the gloss, all of it. All of it. Okay. And this is one of our boards. It's, it comes in a pack of two. So I'm going to put my Mod Podge on here generously. And one other question that I always get is, do I, do I like put another coat of Mod Podge? And I don't because one, this is not going outside. And number two, I just have never found it necessary. Unless you got something that's getting wet, I do not. Now listen, what's y'all? What is y'all's Saturday routines? Like today is Saturday, right? 
All right, get rid of that. Hey, hey, hey. If you're just hopping on, I got these gorgeous napkins at TJ Maxx. We also have, um, gosh, what? A grocery store. And I think it's called Market Fresh. Now, they have some pretty napkins, too. I know a lot of y'all are always looking for napkins. And, y'all, for my, all our Mod Podge projects, I like to mod, put the Mod Podge on and then dry it. And then I iron my napkin on. That method's been around for years and years. Now, you can put your Mod Podge on, put your napkin on, use the, the clear wrap and smooth it out. I had just found that this is easier, and I like doing it. And I forgot to put a... I have a little Walmart iron, and then I've got this little little heat press doodad. I forgot to put that on here. You've been doing yard work? Oh, my gosh. But don't you love it? This time of the year, getting the yard ready. Oh, yes. Hey, from Canada. And, hey, y'all, the word tonight is, um, what is the word? <laughs> is it, what is, it's yellow. Yellow. Saturdays are for gardening. I love that. Yeah, Fresh Market. Have y'all ever, like, they've got this floral section, and they've got, like, napkins. They've got, like, a whole section where um, you can, like, put gifts together or whatever. But they got some cute napkins, too. So, I like to get my napkins. I look everywhere, and I'm sure y'all do, too. Okay. So, this is our board. Let's see. I missed something. Somebody, I think somebody said about the wood cutouts. Yeah, we got the wood cutouts for the May Club. They're on the site. Ben on the site. I just love lemons. Okay. So, this is fairly dry, like almost 100%. And now, let's, let me see where I'm going to put my napkin. Y'all know, y'all know I like to try to s save it. You know, like, don't. We'll smooth out that a little bit. And what this does is um, the heat activates the Mod Podge. What is the word? What is the word about? Oh, um, I have it set up so that if you want the supply list, I will message it to you. So, like, if you type the word yellow, check your messages because I have sent you the supply list. I probably don't even need... Did anybody else... Any other questions, y'all? I kind of feel like, I, I feel like I'm, put, I'm putting wrinkles in here. And you can just use parchment paper. This is like something that you use with your heat press. And now y'all, I've told y'all before, I always start in the middle. I'm just gonna make sure that's not too hot. I start in the middle and kind of iron out. Now you can just use your regular iron. You don't have to have anything fancy. Just make sure that you use like a piece of parchment paper so you don't get any glue on your iron. I didn't. I used to not ever use my iron for anything but uh, crafting, but lately I've bought a few things that are linen, <laughs> and uh, so I've I had to iron a little bit. I also put all the supplies. I pinned it. Y'all, I'm always proud of myself when I can pin. Because Facebook, like, Facebook sometimes says, Debbie, we're not going to allow you to pin. <laughs> now, they don't say anything. I just can't do it. Can you heat set paste? No. The only thing you can heat set is ink. Paste is made for, like, boards, chalkboards, anything like that. The ink is, is permanent. 
And now we have the ink packets. So if you have an ink project, just get the packets and, do, and you know, do that. All right, I'm going to cut off my extra. Y'all, look how pretty that is. I'm so excited about it. But, yes, um, the ink is permanent when heat set, not the paste. So don't, don't heat set your paste. It might stain it a little bit, but it's not going to be permanent. I'm going to go ahead and trim this off closely. And the other day, I was doing a project, and I somebody said, why do you sand the edges? Well, I was just basically sanding the edges of the napkin off. But I'm so in love with this. So pretty. But And so, listen, whenever y'all type the keyword, be sure to check your messages because that's where the information is. Sometimes I wonder if y'all y'all just type the keyword. I'm like, what's going on? All right, let's get these edges off. And I just like to sand down so that it doesn't mess up my napkin. I know I love this napkin so much. I think that these, if you were to say what are the perfect spring and summer colors, it would be these. Let's see, that just gets those edges off of there. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, first of all, y'all tell me what you had to eat today, and I'll tell you. Barry cooked, which I don't know if y'all's men are like this, or, you know, some women like to grill. Um, he was like, for a long time, always trying to perfect, perfect his ribs. Well, today... I think he did. I can remember Mama saying, Barry's always cooking ribs. I said, yeah, he's trying to get them. He's trying to find the perfect, like, temperature, spices and all that. Oh, they were so good. We had baked sweet potato and ribs. And he said, I forgot what he said. He said, they weren't even baby back. And I'm like, well, I don't even know. I mean, I wouldn't know the difference, I don't think. Thank you, John. Well, y'all, look at that. I almost, I just want to kind of just not do anything to it. But we're going to, okay. And y'all, this is one of the chalk couture. It's like a white chalkboard. You can chalk on it and clean it off and re-chalk it, like with a different color. But we're going to put our, we're going to chalk it and then put it on our board. Isn't that so pretty? So we used our napkin kind of as a background. And we've got um, some of these, they're called chalkable shapes. Um, and we've got some out of stock that will be back. Okay. And y'all, this is the transfer we're going to use. It has like a several sizes of Hello, like some really big. This is perfect for door hangers and stuff. And we're going to just use, it says, oh, hello there. But we're just going to use the um, hello part. And I'm just going to lift it up and put it up under here. Thank you for the stars. And thank you for sharing. Oh, well, look. I was going to leave it on there, but hey. I'm going to do this in black. And let me get my glue gun on. Because we got... We got to glue it on our board. You're getting the car ready, and we'll arrive. Oh, when the ribs, yeah. We, there are some left. <laughs> anyway, this is, this has, I love the transfers that have several different um, ones that you can use on different things, but this is, like, perfect for door hangers. Or... If you wanted to make like a boot tray or something like that. And I'm going to do it in black. I'm going to do it in black? Yeah, I think I am. 
And y'all, tomorrow is the last day to get in the club to get the, um, the farm fresh one. Each month the club changes. So if you love that one like I do, be sure to get in because it's, it's exclusive to the club and only the club members can get it. And I'm sure I'm missing some questions. I will check them out when I'm done. I think I just wanted an excuse to wear these lemon earrings and this lemon apron. The apron came from um, Hobby Lobby. I always look like stuff like that they put in that spring sale. And then the earrings were from a local store that I had never been to. And they sell like a lot of those um, boutique clothes. But I just, I just like to check those places for earrings. As y'all know, I love my earrings. And I know, listen, y'all, we're talking about mine. And like some of y'all probably had never even seen me, but some of y'all that's on here regular were talk, want me to show you how I do my nails. Y'all still want me to do that? Because I did do a video. <laughs> it might be a little crazy, but I did it. So let me know in the comments if you want me to show that or share that. Ooh, this is so pretty. Now what I do, well, I got paste on my fingers, but what I do is I take this to my sink and I clean it with a board eraser and water. But until then, and these have a silk screen that make it Make your design really nice. See how pretty that is? Isn't that gorgeous? Let's see. You love earrings. Oh, yeah, I do too. I think there's been a couple of times when I didn't have my earrings on here. Let's see. You can add the still water to the paste at, and try to loosen it. Oh, I don't. Does somebody, ha somebody have some dry paste? Yeah. Look, our paste is made to dry quickly. So, paste is like any other craft supply. No, these are not gel nails. I do them myself. Um, but anyway, um, so, you know, after you open paste, you do need to open it, spray it with some water, um, and stir it and keep it wet. Because, like I said, it's a craft supply, so they will dry. Okay, Connie, I will try to get that on here tomorrow. But, yeah, um... You know, like if you open paint or you open, if you open anything that's liquid, that's a, that's a craft supply, it's going to dry out. So, like, occasionally what I will do is I will, you know, I got my bottle of water with uh, the still water. And what I'll do is, isn't that pretty? So pretty. Now, if you ever wanted to change the color, you could just wet it, scrape it off, and, you know, do another color. But, so, if you're not using your paste often, be sure to open it, put some water in it, and stir it occasionally. Okay. Let's see if this glue gun's hot. I got, I got me a couple of new tips, but I hadn't changed them out yet. Oop. It's just barely hot. I hope I can make it before I have to put another stick in here. But listen, y'all, here I love to like grab stuff from any of the dollar stores, Goodwill, and kind of add my flair to it. Are y'all like that? You know, kind of make it your own. And that's what we're doing. Oh, I am going to have to put a glue stick in. Where are my glue sticks? Oh, I wish y'all could see this office. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. So I'm going to put this up here. And look at that. 
Look at, look at, look at. And now I think this thing, yeah, it kind of moves. But I mean, you could do it like this and put a bow on it, but we're gonna do it just like this. And I'm just gonna glue this on here. Whoops, whoopsie. If the paste dries hard, can you revive it? Um, what I have done before is add like quite a bit of water and let it sit for a little while and pour the excess off. And um, and if I have any that dries like that, I'll just put water in it and use it to paint with. <laughs> I do not. Um, I'm still looking for a glue stick. Uh, I... I'm wasteful on a lot of stuff, but my craft supplies, I will try to not be wasteful on them. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to put this on here, and then I'm going to turn it over and hit it with some glue. Now, I have before added... <clears throat> mm. I have glued on holders and stuff. Let me <clears throat> I got to get it just right. But I have glued them on like this too. So what I'm looking at is the hole right here and then my board also. Let's see, this is where you get the ring with the one. <clears throat> well, this one came from the Dollar Tree Plus, and like I said, all of our dollar stores have turned into the Dollar Tree Plus. Whoops. Y'all, I'm about to get that crooked. <laughs> it might still be a little crooked. I Listen, I can't look up and do anything. I got to stay concentrating. Concentrate. <laughs> Are y'all like that? If I take my eyes off the road, I'm like going off in whatever direction I'm looking. And obviously, I craft like that too. <laughs> do y'all do that? Yeah, just remember that Paste is like paint, except it's made to dry quick, dry quickly. So you do have to, you know, make sure you keep it wet. Oh my gosh! Well, I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna, I still gotta hold it till it dries a little bit. But isn't that so pretty? Love it. And of course, I've got some uh, Sam's ribbon to use with it. Hello. I kind of like it when I'm having to dry something or hold something. I can see y'all's comments. You're an apron collector too. This one came from Hobby Lobby. Carol, yours is a Dollar Tree Plus also. Still a little wet. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it over like that, and um. I've actually got two different ribbons from Sam's, but I think I'm going to use one actually says hello. That's so bright. I think I'm going to use this one. What do y'all think? I think that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, I got to keep my eyes on the road. <laughs> Y'all must not be like that. I'm like, where am I going to put it? I don't want to cover anything up. But I think this is big enough. I'm going to use three pieces. And what I usually do is... I don't usually measure anything. I kind of make a little bit of a bow and then I put it up against what I'm going to use it on. And then that's how I decide like what size it's going to be. Let me turn this off.
Yeah, and the key word is yellow. Okay. And what I'm going to do, this is super simple. This is kind of hard to tell the right and the wrong side. I like to make awareness bows. And I'm going to make three of them. And I, but I'm going to lay them down. And then I'm going to pick them up and put them all together. That'll make a fluffy bow. It's super easy. It's very, very close to, to the same on each side. So I kind of just like do this and lay them on top of each other. Oh my goodness. I thought I turned that off. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I've done three of these, and now I pick them up. Well, before I pick them up, I kind of hold them like this and cinch them together. And I just kind of hold it. And then I pick the next one up. Now, you could do as many of these. You could stack as many as you want to. And you can kind of turn it. And then I've got this last one. Thank you for sprinkling. And a lot of people say, what is sprinkling? Sprinkling is just sharing. So now here's what we've got. Isn't that kind of pretty? Looks kind of good. And I'm trying to decide, oh gosh, I just saw something over here and it's yellow. And it's rickrack, and I'm going to use it to tie it together. Now, you could tie it together with a with a tie, with another piece of ribbon, whatever you want. I think I'm going to go around a couple of times. And then I'll just end up tying it on the back. Oh, Facebook's terrible today. So sorry. I'm going to tie a couple of knots. Thank you, Melanie. Hey, Karen. Um, and listen, everything I do, you could apply it to even something that you have in your own house. Like, if you have um, a wreath that needs to be refreshed, you could do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and dovetail these. Um, you could add a napkin to a board and just... Use it like that. So basically, even though we do a project, it's still a good idea to use, you know, with whatever. If it's something that you already have or something that you see out that might not be exactly the same. But you could incorporate the napkin. And now I'm just going to kind of fluff it around. I'm kind of going to leave it in that shape that it is. You know, where I crisscross the three. It's almost going to look like a kind of rounded. Hello from Georgia. I'm in Alabama, Indiana, too. Are y'all just hopping on? We're, we're getting close to being finished, so I hope you'll go back and watch it. And if you're watching it on the replay, you can get the supply list in the comments. Finally, tonight, I was able to pin, pin one. <laughs> so, see how pretty that is? Now, you could use three different colors if you wanted to. You could use, like I did, all the same color. Because I am, like, totally in love with lemons today and every day. <laughs> all right. I don't think it's going to go up here. I might... I think I'm going to put it down here or on the side. So many options. The side. I'm putting it on the side, y'all. You can put it anywhere you want to. You know why? Because it's your craft. If you want to put it on the side, you can do it. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. Now, really, I should use a tie to tie this on. 
Yikes. Do not touch your glue, y'all. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm going to hold it until it dries a little bit. I love yellow, too. I love... Actually, I love every color. <laughs> and now, y'all see what I mean by sprucing up. This was a $5 Dollar Tree Plus item. But you can spruce everything up. Goodwill... It doesn't matter. I'm saying spruce. I mean refresh and restyle. Oh, and I was originally originally gonna put the bow at the top, but I got the bow got a little bigger than the, than its britches, and I had to put it on the sign. I kind of want this lemon to go like that. Probably have some more lemons that I could add. But look at this. What do you think? I love it. And I love asymmetrical stuff. <laughs> like the bow on the sign. <laughs> but you can put it wherever you want to. I just feel like this is, like this can carry me through the spring and the summer. Which in Alabama, spring does not last long. And I know y'all love lemons. I love lemons. So, go to TJ Maxx and see if they've got that. I wish I could find some fabric like that. I wish I could find a shirt, a pair of pants, everything. <gasps> Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Hope y'all have a great night. I'm gonna, I've said I was gonna clean up my craft space and I say that way too much. <laughs> but listen, that's how I am, y'all. Um, I like to talk about stuff. The only thing I like to really do is craft. <laughs> y'all, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Love you guys and um, I hope you enjoyed this. Bye, y'all.